Who's your gardener here this morning? Just thought I'd bring you out here on the sun porch and show you uh, uh, how I keep my seeds and my plants are growing in, in the winter time. Uh, we're here in Indiana and it gets cold here in the winter. Um, I, like I said, I'm on my sun porch here. And uh, this little contraption I've got here, I'm going to try and do it with one handed here. Um, you have to excuse the camera work. One of these days I'll buy a camera instead of my cell phone, but <laughs> uh, what I've just done there, I just opened it up. I've got my two fluorescent light bulbs. Uh, actually, there's four. There's uh, two of them together. And I just screwed them to a, a piece of board on each end. And um, when I bought this house, they must have had a swing back here before they enclosed it. And there was uh, a couple hooks up in the ceiling. So I just went and got me some uh, chain, and I hang this dude on here. Now when the plants get taller or shorter, I usually adjust it. I raised it up so you guys could see it in here today. I've got some tomato plants going. Normally I've got everything in the world in here, um, all different kinds of plants. Um, but my daughter's graduating this year, and uh, man, I have been busy trying to get ready for uh, graduation and, and open house and stuff. So I've been painting and doing everything. So I just kept it back to tomato plants this year, trying to keep um, keep it down to a bare minimum. The other plants I'm probably just going to have to go buy. I don't like doing that, but um, being the circumstances, that's what I'm going to have to do. But um, this silver stuff you see back here, uh, I actually got that at a... Uh, pet store um the guy had he was unloading fish out of it and um <laughs> i went up and asked him i said hey uh, when you're done with that could i have that and, and he said well yeah i guess and uh, it was kind of like an envelope and i cut it apart and i'll show you the back side of it here it's wide on the other side and uh, there's a couple places where I had to piece it together because, like I said, it was an envelope. I just used this Gorilla Tape. It works real nice. And I just stick it around it. Now, it's like a bubble wrap. It's it's like uh, got the little spot. Oops, sorry. Got little spots for bubble, you know, like bubble wrap is. But it's really heavy duty. I don't know. They must It must help insulate the fish when they're transporting them. Um... But I tell you what, it works perfect uh, for an indoor greenhouse like this, uh, where I can um, enclose it, all the light is reflected back onto my plants, and it works really, really well. I've been doing this for probably, oh mercy, um, probably six, eight years now since I found this thing. And like I said, it just works wonders. Um, just a little indoor tip. You know, not much today. I just thought I'd give you a little view of these. Um, got all different kinds. Everybody's interested in what kind of tomatoes I'm growing. I, I, I grow a lot of romas. We do a lot of salsa and sauces, spaghetti sauces and so forth. Uh, let's see, back in there I've got some Rudkers. I got some uh, mortgage lifters. I got a gold raven there. I think that's the only one that is um, a hybrid. Everything else I like it to be um, heirloom. I'm kind of an heirloom guy. But um, there it is, folks. Nothing fancy, but by golly, it works well. It helps insulate it. It reflects all the light right back up onto my plants. And I've been happy with it, like I said, for about five or six years now. So good day to you. Lord bless you. Who's your gardener here? We'll see you next time.